Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video, I will show you how to replace the engine air filter on a 2008 Chevy Impala. This video applies to Chevy Impalas made from 2006 all the way up to 2016. The engine air filter is located uh, right here in the engine bay on the driver's side of the engine compartment. To remove the filter, first you want to unclip uh, these two clips on top of the airbox, just like this. And then you can pretty much just uh, separate uh, these two plastic uh, pieces of the airbox and you can pull out your air filter. If you need more space to pull out the air filter, what you can do, you can loosen up this uh, flat screw right here and completely remove this side of the air box and then you will have much more access to <clears throat> pull the air filter out and to clean the inside of the box. But honestly on this car you don't have to do it because look at this, there's plenty of space to uh, pull this filter out and then you can still uh, clean the inside of the box or vacuum it or whatever you want to do without taking anything apart. Okay, see, easy. Now, like I said, there is lots of space to work here, so you can uh, pretty much vacuum, wipe, whatever you want, and install the new filter. Just for the sake of this video, I will show you the right way to do this as well. So you want to just loosen up this flat screw. Do not move it completely. Just loosen it up. And by doing that, you got lots of play here, so you can pretty much um, remove these rubber holes of the airbox cover. I'll have to use both of my hands to pull it off, or maybe I won't. Okay. See. And that way, you can completely remove this piece. Now you will get the full access to the inside of this airbox to clean it nicely and to install a new filter. It's completely up to you how do you want to do it. Um, the easiest way is just to pull it out and if you want you can remove this and have more space. And here is the filter part number, so this is the G GM OEM 1035737. This one will most likely be the most expensive, but you can always go with the aftermarket filters, which will cost you maybe 5-6 dollars. Okay, thank you for watching this very short video, I hope it was helpful, if it was, please like it and subscribe to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel you can find lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.